Did you know these 10 kitchen hacks? 1. Struggling with greasy, stained Tupperware. Rub the containers with lemon juice or baking soda paste before washing to remove stains and grease. Lemon juice is naturally acidic, and this property makes it an excellent cleaning agent. The citric acid in lemon juice cuts through grease and stains on Tupperware by breaking down the fats, allowing them to be washed away more easily. On the other hand, baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, is slightly abrasive and a mild alkali, which means it can neutralize acids that are responsible for odors. The paste's texture helps scrub away stains without scratching the surface. When baking soda is mixed with water, it forms a paste that can lift grease and set in stains due to its slight abrasiveness and chemical reaction with grease. 2. Grating cheese ending in a clumpy mess. Freeze the cheese for 20 minutes before grating for a smoother, finer grate. Cheese contains fat that becomes hard when cold. Freezing cheese solidifies the fat, making the cheese firmer and less likely to clump or stick to the grater. When cheese is at room temperature, the friction from grating can also generate enough heat to soften it, which increases stickiness and clumping. 3. Frustrated by fruit flies in your kitchen? Make a trap with apple cider vinegar and a drop of dish soap in a bowl. Cover with plastic wrap and poke small holes. Fruit flies are attracted to the smell of fermentation. Apple cider vinegar, being a fermented product, emits a strong scent that fruit flies find irresistible. They are drawn to the vinegar seeking what they think is ripe fermenting fruit, which is their preferred food source. The dish soap reduces the surface tension of the apple cider vinegar. Fruit flies normally land on liquids without sinking due to this tension. Adding dish soap breaks this tension down, so when the fruit flies land on the surface to investigate the vinegar, they immediately sink and drown. Covering the bowl with plastic wrap and poking holes in it creates a one-way trap. The fruit flies are able to find their way in through the small holes to get to the vinegar, but are then confused and unable to navigate back out through the holes. 4. Fish skin sticking to the pan Ensure the pan is hot before adding the fish, and press down slightly for the first few seconds to prevent sticking. A hot pan ensures immediate coagulation of skin proteins, forming a crust that releases easily and prevents sticking. Pressing the fish skin against the hot surface for a few seconds creates even contact and a rapid sear, while the high temperature facilitates the Maillard reaction for flavor and avoids moisture buildup that can lead to stickiness. 5. Want to peel ginger without wasting any? Scrape the skin off ginger using the edge of a spoon rather than a peeler to minimize waste. The spoon's dull edge is sharp enough to remove the thin skin, but not so sharp that it cuts away the ginger's flesh. This method allows for more control and flexibility to navigate the knobby, uneven surface of ginger. 6. Do your mushrooms turn soggy when sautéed? Cook them in a hot pan without crowding and avoid stirring for the first minute for the perfect sear. This allows the moisture they release to evaporate quickly, preventing them from stewing in their own juices. 7. Wilted vegetables in your fridge? Soak them in ice water with a dash of vinegar to bring back the crunch. The cold water causes the vegetable cells to reabsorb water, making them firm and crisp again. The vinegar, slightly acidic, helps to perk up their structure even further, leading to that satisfying crunch upon consumption. This method is particularly effective for leafy greens and crunchy vegetables like carrots and celery. 8. Can't find your roasting rack for the perfect roast chicken? Use a bed of roughly chopped vegetables as a natural roasting rack for flavor and airflow. When you don't have a roasting rack, a layer of roughly chopped onions, carrots, and celery can lift the chicken off the pan, allowing heat to circulate more evenly around the bird. This results in a more uniformly cooked, crisper skin. The vegetables act as a flavor base, as the chicken roasts. Its drippings imbue the vegetables with a rich, savory taste, which can be used later to make a delicious gravy 
or as a side dish themselves. 9. Is peeling boiled eggs a nightmare? Add a teaspoon of baking soda to the boiling water. The shells will slide right off. The baking soda raises the pH level of the egg whites, which in turn causes them to adhere less firmly to the shell. This reaction makes the shell easier to remove by creating a layer of gas between the egg white and the shell during the cooking process. The higher pH also breaks down the proteins in the egg white, making it less likely to stick to the shell. 10. Stale chips getting you down? Pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds. They'll crisp right up. The short burst of high heat causes the moisture trapped within the chips to evaporate quickly. Staleness in chips is usually due to the absorption of moisture from the air, which makes them lose their crunchiness. When you microwave them, the water molecules inside the chips become energized and turn into steam. This steam is then released from the chips taking away the soggy texture and restoring their original crispness. For more cooking tips and kitchen hacks, subscribe to the channel.